Hey, I'm back with another tasting video. Today we are going to be trying the newest variant of Samyang's Bulldog Hot Chicken Ramen Noodles, the Habanero Lime variant. It's Makali. Welcome back to my vlog channel. This is my second channel where I usually post chill vlogs for my day to day life in Mumbai, but I also do tasting videos. I've done many videos before trying biscuits, snacks, noodles from India, as well as from around the world. I just really like trying new things. This is actually not my first time trying Samyang's Pulled Dark Noodles. These are the Korean fire chicken or hot chicken noodles that have taken the globe by storm. Very recently, I also did a video where I tasted nine different variants of these. In the same video, you can check it out over there. It was a lot of fun to make that one. Some of them were like okay okay types. Some of them were really really good. One thing that is in common with all of the bulldog noodles is that they are spicy. I was very skeptical before I tasted my first one because I thought that Indians had cornered the market on spice. But this stuff is seriously quite hot and it's a lot of fun to eat as well. This new variant, I just saw it since like a couple of weeks really and even when I looked online, it seems to be a very new one that just came out in September or October 2022. One small thing that I noticed at the back is if you buy these noodles outside of Korea, you will see all the different distributors for all the different countries. And India used to not be mentioned here, but now India is officially mentioned here. And that made me very happy because these noodles are catching on. This is what one packet looks like. It's 135 grams of noodles, so it's like a bigger portion than Maggi and stuff. Usually I find that one of these fills me up like it is a meal, it's not just a snack. Now I'm going to hop into the kitchen and make these exactly as it's stated at the back of the pack. All of the different bulldogs have slightly different cooking instructions, so make sure you read this every single time. I watch a lot of Korean vloggers, so I even bought one of those aluminium golden colored ramyun pots to cook this in. I'm so excited! <laughs> I have my ready packet of noodles inside this right now. I always cool it a little bit after making it because I do appreciate eating hot food, especially right now when a little bit of chill has set in. But I learned the hard way that if you try to eat it too hot, the temperature along with the spice level, it just compounds your suffering, okay? So if you saw my longer pulled up tasting video where I tried nine variants, you should probably watch that one before this. But I actually discussed how a lot of the variants are inspired from different regions of the world. These are Korean noodles and the original one was of course inspired by a Korean dish but as they have expanded into many different flavors they have a curry variant which is inspired by South Asian and Indian those kind of flavors. They have a couple of pasta inspired variants and this one habanero lime is obviously inspired by South American flavors. The main chili used is the habanero chili which originates from the Amazon rainforest in South America. And if you look at Ho Chi up close, that's their little chicken mascot. He's even wearing a sombrero and he's carrying a maraca in his hand. One thing interesting that I found during the preparation of these noodles are, even though they are stated as stir-fry noodles, you actually don't have to drain out the water when you're preparing them. You put in less water than usual and then later on add the sauce. Otherwise, for like pretty much all of the bulldogs, other than the stew noodles, you generally do have to drain the water after cooking. This is what the noodles look like. They are nice and thick. They already look chewy, although I've not tasted them yet. They have a little bit of like a sauce at the bottom as well. 
let's just get in there now that I've eaten a lot of bulldogs it's still difficult for me to put into words that feeling of excitement and dread when you're gonna taste the new one Mm. This is really quite nice. Yummy. It does taste like smooth at first. When you just put it in your mouth, you're not going to feel the spice, and you're going to be like, oh. And then it does hit you as you're eating it. It doesn't feel super spicy, but it's not mild either. That is. A little bit of that lemon flavor which really smells divine it does not smell or taste artificial like some synthetic lemon does taste it's very subtle so I think this is something that could benefit with a, a garnish of fresh lime and maybe fresh coriander or dhania also like it would go with this flavor for sure I like it a lot I like how after so many variants also the team at Samyang is really trying to make something different each time. Like this for sure does not taste anything like any of the nine that I've tasted before this. It's quite yummy. I'm feeling the spice now but that's not going to slow me down and you're at the end of the noodles got to put down the chopsticks and switch to the spoon literally needed to finish that till the last drop now that I'm done it's time to tell you guys my review I really like this and as I said already I think it was a very fresh flavor. It's very different from all of the other bulldogs out there. It's still spicy and still yummy. It doesn't really taste like Korean noodles that much. Like the texture of the noodles are there, but the flavors are definitely more South American than Asian. I was already thinking of ways that I could jazz this up a little bit. It would taste so nice with some meat or an egg. It would be good with cheese i think and of course a little splash of fresh lime also would be amazing on it i think this one is especially for those who like mexican or tex-mex food that's spicy you're gonna love this one is it my favorite no i've already discussed my favorite bulldogs in my more detailed video but it is a solid addition to the lineup for sure i hope you guys enjoyed this tasting video let me know what you thought of it in the comments below have you tried any bulldog noodles are you looking to try them they are an experience for sure but one that you can get slightly addicted to especially if you love spice thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time